Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cole named Chanel and I'm back. But clearly I'm back to make sure you get a sugar daddy before this year ends, so stay tuned. Now you guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, then gang gang. So this video, I just have to spill the tea because the gals, it is finesse season and finesse season means that it is when all the holidays are coming up, right? So we can just ask for whatever we want from all these pots, potential, that's potential sugar daddies, I call them pots. And we can just get whatever we want because we have all sort of reasons to ask for money because it is the holiday season. Okay, so how do you get a sugar daddy before this year ends? Before 2020 ends, you need somebody to be paying your bills. You need somebody to be buying you gifts. You need somebody to take you on the trip. Okay, so this lifestyle is not for everyone, but anyone can do it, right? First thing I would say is you need to come up with your own formula. Do not follow what everyone else is saying or what everyone else is doing because I didn't follow what everyone else is saying and what everyone else was doing. When I decided that I wanted to be a sugar baby and I wanted to start finessing, I got in the game really fast. I didn't really know what I was doing. I have a journal. It's kind of corny, but it's everything finesse, okay? I write down all my finesse goals in here. And really, it's my finesse goals started off with paying off my debt. I never let a sugar daddy know that I'm in debt. I never let them know I'm in any type of financial troubles. I learned. I've learned from that. I learned from the damsel in, in um, some mess versus the damsel in distress, okay? So all my goals are in here. Everything that I want, everything I want before this year ends and everything I want until up to my birthday, which is May 2021, 20, right? So... This is what I highly recommend. Write down everything that you want this year till your birthday next year. You need to write down three sites that you want to be on. Now, it can be a sugar daddy site. It can be a regular, regular site. But the next thing you need to do is you need to come up with your own formula. You need to find the sites that work for you. You need to find the sites that like women that look like you. Okay? Because all of us are different. So we want to go where we are wanted. Right? If you're on a site and you're not getting a lot of matches and you're but you think that your pictures are pretty good, HD quality pictures, then you need to move on to the next site because I see a lot of ladies, especially some of my subscribers, you guys are babysitting these apps and you want something to shake because you heard, okay, well this girl got a sugar daddy from seeking, so I'm just going to keep trying on seeking. Yes, it's important to be consistent, but if you want a sugar daddy before the year, year ends, before 2020 is over, you can babysit that app you you make that app it's not shaking you're not getting a lot of attention you're not getting a lot of messages you need to move on to the app that works for you also this needs to be fun this shouldn't be like something that you're dreading doing coming into the sugar game or the finesse game with negativity is a no-go i don't speak negativity out. i just can't do it it's not in me so what i do is i manifest good things i manifest go running into good men if i have a bad interaction with um, if I have a bad interaction with a guy on a site, and this is for research purposes because I do a lot of research for my Patreon and what works for me. Show YouTube and my Patreon where you can get exclusive finesse tips. Well, we'll talk about that later. I show you guys examples of what I personally use. Yes, my personal conversations I put on Patreon so that you guys know I'm not capping. This is what I really do. So if I have a bad experience or... Um, if I have like a bad experience or anything like that with a guy, I write down that experience. I write down that interaction, especially if it was an interaction where I felt could have led to some money. I know not to run into those type of men anymore. The the, the sugar daddies that work for me, the men that spend money on me typically um, range between a certain age, which is something that you ladies need to figure out. Which men are spending, what age range is spending money on you? What age range are you more comfortable talking to? Yeah, the goal is to get a sugar daddy, right? But we can also get a trick that sends us thousands of dollars a month too, but it's just not considered an allowance. 
So if 35 and 36 and 37 year olds work for you, then that works for you. I see a lot of women that get in the comments like, well, I don't go under 55. Ma'am, me either when I'm looking for a sugar daddy, but when it's a trick, I don't discriminate, honey child, because I have several tricks. And they all, the age range that works for me for tricks is between the ages of 30 and 39, right? So in their 30s, early 30s, late 30s or whatever. With the sugar daddies, my sugar daddies have always been over the age of 55. But I put on my dating app, I put 47 and plus, I changed the age range. If you want a young trick or a guy that's around your age to spend money on you, and you want that to happen before the end of this year, you need to get onto elite dating sites, period, point blank. I'm trying to tell you something. You need to get on dating sites where men are look, where men already have money, they're already established, not anyone that's hustling, trying to get a buck, just like you, trying to be like you. No, we don't need none of that. We need men that are already established. So you go to those type of sites. If you, and for ladies that are struggling with getting meat fees, meat fees is a gift or a monetary gift or money that a man gives you when you go on a date, just so you know that this man is generous and that he'll spend money on you. Now, if you want to practice on getting meat fees and if you want meat fees, you will go on, you will go and you don't feel comfortable asking guys on regular sites or asking guys on sugar daddy sites, which is weird because that's where I feel the most comfortable. What's your price is a good site that it already established the meat fee situation. Like you already, the whole site is based off of guys paying to go to take you on a date. It is not illegal for a guy to take you to go on a platonic date. It is not illegal for you to ask for money for a guy to be able to take you on a date. It's not illegal to ask for a gift, check your state, Check your check your laws, okay? If it was illegal, what's your price wouldn't exist? So for ladies who are scared to ask for meat fees, what's your price is a great, great practice and it's a great way of getting, I guess, faster money and establishing a relationship where you can ask for money extremely fast without it coming off as a gold digger, as they would like to say. Now, next, moving along, because we gotta keep, we got we gotta keep it steady, we gotta keep it ready. You have to join my Patreon. I I have introduced finesse season to the girls, okay? I And the girls are running up a check. If you want to see success stories from women who are on my Patreon, from women who get money off of my Patreon, for women who have, where I have personally helped them get sugar daddies, go to my Patreon. I have a $5 and a $10 tier that are open 24 seven that you can join anytime. You'll be charged that day and you'll be charged the first. So. What happens, this is how my Patreon works. This, this is how it works. On Patreon, I not only give you screenshots of my personal conversations, which I kind of toned down a little bit, and I, I kind of toned it up, and then I kind of toned it down. Other ladies share their success stories and their conversations. I show you what, what a sugar daddy actually looks like. It's only so much I can say on YouTube. There's only so many pictures I can show you. If you go to my Patreon and if you want a sugar daddy before the end of this year or you want help or you want to be closer to a sugar daddy than you've ever been, join my Patreon. I have prompts, word for word prompts that you can make your own. It's important to build your mouthpiece up, ladies. That's why I said you need to have your own formula. You need to do what works for you. I can talk to guys, a particular guy, any type of way. If it's a guy that likes that likes for women to be a little bossy or whatever like i can do that but i also can play the really submissive role i can play the laid back i've, I've been told that i'm super submissive by one guy and then one guy is like you know what i, I like that you take control it's, it's either or i can play that role but i do what works best for me the men that i tend to run into they aren't horny they aren't rude to me. If someone is rude to me, I'm not gonna talk to them. If you want a sugar daddy before this, the end of this year, please do not put up with this bull crap. If a guy is being rude to you, do not reply back to him. Block report, delete him, move on. You ladies are spending too much time on the negative and not on the positive. There is someone for everyone. If there's so many apps to use, there's so many places to go to find these men. Again, if you guys want app recommendations, they're on my Patreon. I also have a whole finesse playlist that you guys can check out. And it has app suggestions. Right now, for me, if you want a sugar daddy, I think the number one regular dating app is OkCupid. Now, if you want a arrangement where you don't have to kind of finesse it and I would go to seek an arrangement because they already know what's up. This is a site that is targeted 
for um, sugar babies and sugar daddies. You know, there's no hiding that. They're, everyone is seeking an arrangement. So I would go to seek an arrangement. That is, you know, the popular one right now. But I absolutely love OK Cupid. But when I'm dating guys my age and I want them to spend a little cash on me, I always eat, I use Instagram a lot. You guys, I use Insta, I run up Instagram. I make it's Instagram and Snapchat. Younger guys, I run it up on there. I run it up on there. Go to my Patreon. Go to my Patreon. I'm trying to tell y'all, get your journal. Write down what, where went, where went wrong. Manifest what you want, ladies. Okay, get your journal. My little journal. I need to get a new one. This one I use. I started using May of this year. So I, I created my finesse journal May of this year, and it's pretty full. And it has. It's filled with manifesting what I want. It's filled with bad finesse days I've had. It's filled with my my YouTube videos. Um patreon prompts everything i mean i low-key could turn this into a book and make millions <laughs> but you guys so but also don't go don't just go to the popular apps because you hear the girls are recommending it because if i recommend it on youtube yes it's popping but look at how many women are going to go there if you go on your apps and you stroll up and you go to like Say if you type in OkCupid in, in, on your apps in your Apple Store or your Google Play Store or say you type in Hinge or Bumble. Those are actually really good apps too. If you're new to my YouTube channel, I love Hinge. I love Bumble. Um, the only app that I really do not prefer is Tinder. So um, you go there and a new app pops up. You need to check out that new app because that means that men are on there are not seeing queen pretending to be sugar babies or want to be sugar babies or girls that just go on there and with tacky bios tacky pictures and mess up the game for us okay so you need to go to the new apps that nobody hears of okay that's what you need to do you need to run over there to those apps where you are free to finesse and you ain't got to be worried about the ghetto so anyway that's pretty much my tips for you to get a sugar daddy before this year ends don't forget to ask for a christmas gift okay because we all deserve a range over i gotta go you guys i'm out i love you guys don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Chanel Kid Herb. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, codename Chanel. Don't forget to join my Patreon if you need extra finesse tips before this year is over. I love you guys. All love. And I'm out. And I'm out. And I'm out. What do you guys think of the new background? And I'm out. And I'm out. And I'm out. Is the waist, is the waist tiny? Tell me, is the waist tiny?